Can I fly my Mavic Mini in Canadian controlled airspace? Hello and welcome to Coastal Drone Co. Weekly Questions Answered, where we take your most frequently asked questions about drones in Canada and answer them in these short videos. Today we're talking about the 249 gram DJI Mavic Mini or DJI Mini 2. So you've got your micro drone and you want to fly in controlled airspace. Well, first off, what's controlled airspace? Any region of the air that's surrounding an airport or above a certain altitude is controlled by Nav Canada, which means that the airplanes and helicopters and registered drones must must get permission to enter that airspace. But wait, you said registered. Micro drones don't need to be registered. That's right. A drone less than 250 grams in Canada is considered exempt from the CARS Part 9 rules, except for the following. One, CARS 900.06. No person shall operate a remotely piloted aircraft system in such a reckless or negligent manner as to endanger or be likely to endanger aviation safety or the safety of any person. Two, don't fly in restricted airspace. What is restricted airspace? If you see a CYR on the map, the R stands for restricted. These restrictions are either permanent or temporary. Another place you can find them is in a NOTAM or a notice to airmen. Just because a drone is tiny, it's still a drone. And in other words, it's an aircraft. CYR airspace is restricted to all aircraft that haven't been given specific permission. So where can you find approved maps? You can find them using the National Research Council Drone Site Selection Tool, the Designated Airspace Handbook, which is published every 56 days, Garmin's Flight Plan Go, or ForFlight.com. And coming soon, there's gonna be a new app from Nav Canada. What does all this mean? Can I fly my drone at controlled airspace? Let's look at an example scenario. You've got your Mavic Mini and you wanna fly along the Burrard Inlet and the Inner Harbor to catch the beautiful sunset at the Lionsgate Bridge. The Mini doesn't matter, right? It's a micro drone. That's all we care about, no? Well, let's ask ourselves a number of questions before we take off. One, am I in restricted airspace? At this point, I've checked the charts and I've looked for no temps to make sure the area I'm flying is not a CYR at the time I want to fly. This could change. So it's important that I do it before I fly and be sure that there's nothing coming up in the future. Two, is the weather conducive for a safe flight? Can I maintain line of sight? Is it too cold or too wet? If I'm flying in the winter, do I know that my props aren't going to ice up? Three, am I fit to fly the drone. Think about the I'm safe checklist. Do you suffer any effects from illness, medication, stress, alcohol, fatigue, or emotion? How about cannabis? Did you know that it's 28 days from smoke to launch for all aircraft? Drones are aircraft. Four, am I violating any local or provincial bylaws by launching and operating my drone from here? No, I checked my local bylaws and I did my best to look for any posted signs before I chose this spot to fly. I also checked the provincial park and federal park maps to make sure I'm not standing on any of their land either. Five, am I able to conduct this flight in a way that isn't considered reckless or negligent as to endanger any other aircraft or person? This is a big question. And it means you really need to know the area that you plan on flying in. But before we answer the question, I wanna remind you to be sure to like and subscribe our channel and hit that notification bell as we're going to post every Friday your top questions. So let's identify the biggest risk in controlled airspace. Are there lots of airplanes and helicopters taking off nearby or flying where I want to fly? Yes, and this is the harbor terminal. This is crazy busy airspace. For the most part, these aircraft fly a predictable pattern to and from the heliport and the seaplane base. But I've stood at the spot and watched the aircraft for a while and occasionally a plane will fly through the area at about a thousand feet above the bridge. How I make sure I'm safe? I'm not going to fly higher than 300 feet today and I won't go more than a thousand feet away from the bridge horizontally. I'm on the north side of the inlet so I should be safe and away from the low altitude takeoff and landing areas by the terminal. If an aircraft is coming close to my drone I'll descend to a hundred feet above the water and fly straight back towards me. Remember it's my responsibility to avoid the aircraft ever coming close to my drone and if all else fails I will sacrifice my drone to protect the people in that aircraft by doing the emergency stop maneuver on my drone. We have a plan for normal operations and even a worst case scenario. We're good to go. Let's get out there and fly and capture that sunset before it's too late. Wait, one last thing. Let's do a last minute pre-flight check. There's nothing worse than capturing the shot and we forget to format or put the card back in the drone. Are my props good and secure? Have I set my return to home properly? Do I have a good enough battery? Is my remote and phone also charged and ready to go? Okay, everything looks good. Let's have fun and fly safe. Thanks for stopping by Coastal Drone Co's Weekly Questions Answered. My name's Ian, and I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. For more information about the topics discussed, be sure to check out our website for our comprehensive Canadian drone certification and training programs for flying micro drones like this or basic or advanced drones. Let us know what you think in the comments and share your questions with us here through our website at coastaldrone.co or Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Coastal Drone. Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to our first episode of Weekly Questions Answered. My name's Ian Wills. I'm new to Coastal Drone Co., but not new to aviation or drones. 
I come from 10 years as a commercial helicopter pilot, five years as a drone pilot, and an extensive background in sales, training, media, and information technology. My job at Coastal is to listen to your needs and identify the best possible solution to keep you flying safe and compliant across Canada. I'm happy to take your call, tweet, email, or DM anytime. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.